Good morning students. Today we are going to take up a lesson from supplemental reader that is the cop and the anthem. It is written by O. Henry. O. Henry is a American short story writer and he has written so many short stories and some are The Skylight Room, After 20 Years, The Ransom of Red Chief and The Last Leaf. He has written so many short stories. And most of his stories often have a surprise ending. Now, let us see this particular story, how it is. And before going to the story, before going to the lesson, children, have you ever come across a situation where you might have expected something and something else might have happened? Did it happen at any time? Yes. Most of the times it happens with us that we expect something and something else comes out of it or something else happens. So that time it will be very embarrassing for us. Okay, now in this story, we come across so many embarrassing situations in this particular story that is the cop and the anthem. So now let's read the lesson. Look into your book children. Soapy is a homeless, jobless man. Winter is fast approaching and Soapy must have a place to stay. Soapy comes to a decision at last. So these are the three main points which are given. That is the summary of the Paragraphs. Now let us look into the first paragraph. Soapy moved restlessly on his seat in Madison Square. There are certain signs to show that winter is coming. Birds begin to fly south. People want new warm coats. And Soapy moves restlessly on his seat in the park. When you see these signs, you know that winter is near. So here the main character is Soapy and Soapy is Restlessly he is moving in the park. So he is in the park, he stays in the park. That is in which place? In Madison Square. That is in New York. So the setting of the story is in New York and he stays in a park. Soapy is homeless and jobless man and he stays in the park that is in Madison Square which is in New York. And as it is winter is far approaching. See here there are signs, certain signs to show that winter is coming. Signs refers to the indications. Now let us see what are the indications which it is showing. So birds begin to fly south. So birds move towards south. And also people want new coats. New warm coats are the sweaters to protect from the cold. And Sophie moves, he, he moves very restlessly in the park. As he cannot stay in the park when it is winter that is in, in that particular time. So when you see these signs you know that winter is near. So as winter is far approaching Sopi wants to change his place. So let us see where he wants to go. So as it is winter, it is very cold and he cannot stay in the park. A dead leaf fell at Soapy's feet. That was a special sign for him that winter was coming. It was time for all who lived in Madison Square to prepare. So when the leaf falls, okay, so here a dead leaf fell at Soapy's feet. So when it had, when that leaf fell on Soapy's feet, so at that time, even all the people in the New York, they have to prepare for the winter. So how do we prepare for winter children? We'll remove the uh, sweaters, we'll wash them and we will keep it ready for the winter. So like that, even Soapy is ready to move from that particular place because he cannot bear the winter in the park on the bench. Soapy's mind now realized that fact. The time had come. He had to find some way to take care of himself during the cold winter and therefore he moved restlessly on his seat. So as he is in the park, so now he, he came to know the fact is that he has to move from that place because he can't bear the winter in the park. Sobi's hopes for the winter were not very high. He was not thinking of sailing away on a ship. He was not thinking of southern skies or of the Bay, Bay of Naples. Three months in the prison of Blackwell's Island was that what he wanted. So now here you come across the word southern skies. Southern skies is the warmer place. So people in order to, uh, in order, uh, people who are unable to bear the winter, they move on to southern skies. Why they move there? Because there the area is warm to protect themselves. And we have another word, Blackwell's Island. Blackwell's Island is the name of the prison. So here, Sophie's Hopes for the winter are not very high. He is not having a high hopes in the winter. He doesn't want to go to warmer place. He doesn't want to go to southern skies. But he was he, will, he is not at all thinking of sailing on a ship also. 
and but only the thing is he wants to go to a prison for three months which is in Blackwell's Island. Okay, so why he wants to go to a prison? So let us see. Three months of food every day and a bed every night. Three months safe from the cold north wind and safe from the cops. That is what Sophie wanted most in the world. So what he wanted? Three months of food and three months of bed which he will get in Blackwell's Island. So that Blackwell's Island is the, is the prison where the government provides food and shelter for the, uh, for the people who do certain crime and who go to the prison. So this is what he wanted the most in, to go to the Blackwell's Island. For years, Blackwell's Island had been his winter home, senior children, for years. So for so many years, this uh, Sophie, who is homeless, who is jobless, all these uh, years, he's, the three months he is going to the Blackwell's Island in order to protect himself from cold winter. Richer New Yorkers made their plans to go to Florida or to the shore of the Mediterranean Sea each winter. So richer New Yorkers refers to richer refers to the wealthy. So wealthy New Yorker people, where do they go? They plan to go to Florida. Florida is a place in a village in New York. Okay, so there they go and also not only that place and also to the shore of the Mediterranean Sea. So every winter rich people will go to Florida and also the Mediterranean Sea. Sophie had, Sophie made his small plans for going to the island. So what is his small plan? Plan to go to the Blackwell's Island. So he is planning to go to a prison. So why he is planning to go to a prison? There for three months he can protect himself from the winter. He can get food and also bed. And now the time had come. Three big newspapers, some under his coat and some over his legs, had not kept him warm during the night in the park. So now what, what the, the time had come for him to take the newspapers. Why he is keeping under his coat to protect himself from the cold winter. So he kept some three, three big newspapers under his coat and also over his legs in order to protect the winter in order to protect the cold so Sophie was thinking of the island so which island he is thinking blackwell's island the three uh, there were places in the city where he go where he could go and ask for food and a bed so in new york there are some places where he can go and there he can ask people for food and bed okay these would be given to him he could move from one building to another and he would and he, and he would be taken care of through, of through the winter. But he liked Blackwell's Island better. So in New York, if he goes from one building to the other building or one place to the other place, he will get some place to protect himself from the winter. Okay, so he will get it. But he doesn't like over there. He feels that Blackwell's Island is a better place for him to stay or to protect himself for the three months in winter so he does he if in new york he has a place to move on but he is very much interested to go to a to blackwell's island which is better he thinks so his spirit was proud what is the spirit children soul his soul is very proud proud is self-respect so he has lot of self-respect okay if he went to any of these places so what places to any building to protect himself to any other place in the new york if he goes there, there were certain things he had to do in one way or the other. He would have to pay for what they gave him. They gave him. They would not ask him for money, but they would make him wash his whole body. They would make him answer questions. They would want to know everything about his life. So if at all, he goes to that particular places in places where he will be protected in New York to any building where he can stay there. So if he goes there, there People ask him what he is doing, what is all that. They will be asking questions about his life. So why he is like that. All the things they will be asking. So that which he doesn't want to reveal. So he doesn't want to go there and stay. So he felt that only that Blackwell Island, that prison is the best place. Where he can be a gentleman over there. No one will be asking anything. And no one will ask him to do this or that. Or pay for this or pay for that. Okay. Now, no prison was better than that. The prison had rules that he would have to follow. But in prison, a gentleman's own life was still his own life. So even the prison had also some rules. 
But a gentleman's life is his own life. His own life he can lead the three months. So no one who is going to ask him any questions about his life. So we having decided to go to the island, at once began to move towards his desire. So what is his desire? His desire is to go to Blackwell's island, that is the prison. So he had made up his mind to go to the island. Okay. There were many easy ways of doing this. The most pleasant way was to go and have a dinner at some fine restaurant. So what? there are so many different ways in order to go to the prison. So one way he, he thought is that he will go to a fine restaurant and there he will have dinner. Okay. Then he would say that he had no money to pay and then a cop would be called. It would all be done very quietly. The cop would arrest him. He would be taken to a judge and the judge would do the rest. So he will have the dinner and nicely and then he will not pay the bill. So immediately who will be called? Cop will be called. Cop means police. They will be called and he will be caught and then he will be taken to the jail and there the judge will see he will be taken to the court and there the judge will do the remaining part. Okay. So he left his seat and walked slowly off Madison Square to the place where the great street called Broadway and 5th Avenue meet. So now he had, he had left his seat. Left his seat means left the path and from, from there he had started moving towards a street. The name of the street is Broadway and 5th Avenue meet. So there he went. He went ac across the white space and started north on Bay. So towards the north side of that broad, Broadway he went. He stopped at a large and brightly lighted restaurant. This was where the best food and the best people in the best clothes appeared every evening. So he went to a, a brightly and lighted restaurant and in that restaurant every e evening the best people with their best clothes, they come over there. So we believe that above his legs, he looked all right. Above his legs means above the legs, this part. He looked well, okay. His face was clean. His coat was good enough. The coat which he was wearing was also good enough. If he could get a table, get to a table, he believed that success would be his. So if he gets, if he enters into that fine restaurant and if he gets one table, then the success will be his. So what he had planned, he will have his fine dinner and he will not pay the bill. So then immediately they will call the cop and the remaining part, the judge will look over it. So this, the part of him that would be seen above the table would look alright. The waiter would bring him what he asked for. So when he is sitting children, only the uh, upper part only will be seen, not the bottom part. So then whatever he orders, the waiter will get for him. So he began thinking of what he would like to eat. In his mind, he, he could see the whole dinner. The cost would not, not too high. He did not want the restaurant people to feel any real anger. But the dinner would leave him filled and happy for the journey to his winter home. So he thought that he will have the dinner, fine dinner he will have and he will enjoy his dinner and then that uh, after enjoyment he will be very much filled with lot of happiness and in that happiness he will go to the to his uh, Blackwell's island. So to the prison he will go. So this is what he had planned. Now let us see whatever he had planned whether it has come true or not. So what happens we will see in the next paragraph. But as Sophie put his foot inside the restaurant door the head waiter saw his broken old shoes and the torn clothes that covered his legs. Strong and ready hands turned Soapy around and moved him quietly and quickly outside again. So what he did? So Soap is the top part was good, but the bottom part, the shoes were broken and also his uh, uh, and also his uh, old shoes, his shoes were broken and the torn clothes that covered his legs. The legs are covered with the torn clothes. So all that he had seen that the waiter, uh, sorry, the head waiter had seen and then they have, they pushed him out of the restaurant. So, so we turned off Broadway. It seemed that his, his, this most easy way to the island was not to be his. He must think of some another way of getting there. So this is the first plan. So first plan, he, he planned to go to the restaurant having food over there and then he will not pay the bill and he will go to the uh, jail or he will move on to Blackwell Island. This is what he had planned but his plan has become a failure. So why it has become a failure? What he did? 
So the head waiter had seen his broken shoes and the legs which are covered with the torn uh, clothes. All that he has seen and he was not at all allowed to enter that restaurant. Now let us read the next paragraph. At a corner of 6th Avenue was a shop with a white glass window bright with electric lights. Sobi picked up a big stone and threw it through the glass. People came running around the corner. A cop was the first among them. Sobi stood still and he smiled when he saw the cop. So now he had moved on to the 6th Avenue where he had seen a shop and the shop had, it was looking very bright also at the glass window he had seen it and he has taken a stone and he had threw it through the glass. And immediately when there is a sound of the glass broken and all the people came. So first was the cop who had come. So Sophie was very happy to see the cop. Why was he happy? Yes, now the cop will arrest him for doing this wrong deed. So the cop was the first among them and so he was still, he was standing still there. He did not move and, and he was smiling at that cop. When, he, when the cop had seen him, he was smiling at him. Where is the man that did that? Asked the cop. So the cop asked, asked Sophie and the other people, where is that man who had done it? So what done it? Who had broken the glass window? Don't you think that I might have done it? Said Sophie. He was friendly and happy. What he wanted was coming towards him. So now Sophie says to him that don't you think that I have done it? So I am here, I have done it. So Sophie was very friendly towards the cop. And he was very happy also that whatever he has planned is going to happen. But the cop's mind would not consider Sophie. Would not consider Sophie means? So cop did not expect that Sophie has done it. Okay. Or he did not suspect also. Men who break windows do not stop there to talk to cops. They run away as fast as they can. So now the cop, the police says that if anyone has broken the window, they will not stand still here. They will run away. So you did not do the deed. You did not broke that glass. The cop saw a man further along the street running. He ran after him and so be sick at heart, walked slowly away. He had failed two times. Now the cop had seen the man, one man was running. So cop had seen him and he followed that man. So now Sobi was very much disappointed that his second trick also had been a failure. So he was very broken. So he had planned to go to the Broadwell side but it was a failure for him. Across the street was another restaurant. It was not so fine as the one on Broadway. The people who went there were not so rich. Its food was not so good. Into this Sopi took his old shoes and his stone clothes and no one stopped him. He sat down at a table and was soon eating a big dinner. So now in that same street there was another restaurant. So Sopi planned to get into that particular restaurant. So compared to the restaurant which was in Broadway, this restaurant was not that good. And even everyone, even the food also was not that good. And and he went, Sopi went into it. So even though his clothes were torn and his shoes were broken, he was allowed to go inside. He went inside, he sat on the table and he started eating the food. When he had finished, he said that he had no money. So this was his plan the first time. So he had, he ate the food. And after completing it, he said that he had no money. Get busy and call a cop, said Sopi. And don't keep a gentleman waiting. So now he says to the waiter that you get busy. Get busy yourself. Go and call the police. So he says and he says that don't make me wait. No cop for you, said the waiter. He called another waiter. The two waiters threw Sophie upon his left ear and on the hard street outside. So they have pushed him. So he, they have lifted him and he called the another waiter. They have lifted him and they have pushed him out of the restaurant. He stood up slowly, one part of one part at a time, and bent the dust from his clothes. Bent the dust means when dust is there, he had just removed the dust from his clothes. Prison seemed only a happy dream. The island seemed very far away. So now his the other third plan also was a failure. He went into the restaurant, he had food, he thought that the waiter will be calling the uh, police. But they did not call. Instead, they have thrown him out of the restaurant. So now he felt that 
that going to the prison is a dream only. It has, it was only a happy dream for him, and he thought that that uh, Blackwell's Island is very far to him because whatever he has planned, the three tricks were failure. Whatever he has planned, entirely the opposite has happened. We have completed half of the lesson, and the remaining part of the lesson we'll do in our next video. Thank you, students.